Michael J. Fox challenged people's perceptions of Parkinson's disease when he laced up some skates a couple of years ago and showed off his hockey skills. Now a racquetball court in Ottawa is drawing researchers trying to understand why the tremors disappear when that racquetball hits the ground. Here's CTV's Joe Enschner. It's hard to tell which player here has Parkinson's disease. They seem equally matched, fluid in their movements and steady on their feet. Off the court, though, tremors make it difficult for Jacques Seguin to tie his laces. Seguin was diagnosed 11 years ago with Parkinson's, a neurodegenerative disorder that causes tremors, balance issues and rigid muscles. A few years ago, he decided to try the racquetball court at his condo. He now plays five times a week, can't believe how he feels on the court. Parkinson may get me on the long haul, but every day that I play racquetball, I win. I, I become myself and I can be for, for, for a number of minutes, for a number of hours, I can be just, just like I was. So that, that's a great feeling. It's, a, it's bliss. Seguin introduced a few friends with Parkinson's to the sport. They too saw their symptoms disappear while playing. Slowness is, is, is gone away because probably we're recruiting different pathways in the brain. Uh, and all the while having fun. Back at the end, yeah, keep it going. Don Ferguson coaches the group and believes sports like this work on muscle memory. If they played any kind of racket sport at all, ping pong, tennis, racquetball, whatever, um, that stays there. It's like riding a bike. You don't forget how. It begins here. Canadian actor Michael J. Fox has become the voice for Parkinson's research. He wowed a lot of people when he strapped on his skates for this hockey commercial. Researchers know there's a positive effect on Parkinson's disease during intense sport. They're not sure why. This University of Ottawa researcher is hoping to find out. It was just striking to me how they were able to play and, and move so easily on the court. Nantel studied the short-term effects of racquetball on this group. She's now doing a study to find out whether there are long-term effects. Seguin doesn't need a study to prove that he's living it. It feels like, um, like I win on Parkinson. Joe Anschner, CTV News.